Hey everybody, it's Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is October 5th, 2021 and this is floss tube number 35. So um, if you're new here, this is a channel mostly about cross stitch. 99.9% um, .9 of the time, that's all I talk about. I might talk about quilting every now and then or um, any other craft I might be doing, but pretty much it's cross stitch. Um, so if you're new here, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Um, consider subscribing. I would appreciate it. If you are back, thank you for coming back. And for those of you that watch on a regular basis, but aren't subscribed, please do so, <laughs> or at least consider, you know, and those of you that are subscribed and are back, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Um, I've been appreciating the comments and the um the likes and and the the conversations i've been having with some of y'all it's been really really sweet so thank you so much um here on youtube i am rachel q stitches i am also rachel q stitches on instagram and i do have a facebook page it's called rachel quilts but i don't post a whole lot on there because i try not to get on facebook and um wasn't yesterday glorious with no Facebook? <laughs> I got so much done. Um, I try not to get on Facebook, but I really needed to look up some information that was on there. And of course, I couldn't get to it. So I was like, I need to write this down instead of relying on Facebook for my information. And um, But not having Instagram was a little hard for me because I do like my Instagram. But anyway, so I have some whips this week and I do have one finish and um, a little bit of haul. I know I went on a rant last week about people with too much haul, but it's a, it's a tiny little haul from one, two, three stitch. Um, I'm expecting some floss from Fat Quarter Shop so I could finish something. And um, anyway, so there you go. So let's get on to what I've been doing. So if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I do um, the Erica Michaels ABC blocks. For those of you that are new, the ABC blocks are free on Rainbow Gallery, and I do have them linked down below. They were blocks um, that at one time were made into a book, and they were used for teaching blocks to teach um, different specialty stitches. And um, I found them about a year or so ago and was really intrigued by them, but... Um, I had just come back from a almost 30 year hiatus of not stitching. And so I decided to um, download them, put them on my, my computer and just I let them simmer until I felt confident enough to go back to using um, even Weaver Ada or whatever. So I have a, a stitch along. If you want to join me, you can join at any time. It doesn't matter what letter you're on. It doesn't matter how fast you do them. You can join me. And um, Shelly at Proverbs 3122 is also doing them with me. So that's fun um, seeing her blocks. And um, I did find one lady in Australia that they're doing the stitch along her local shop. And her blocks are amazing. They're almost done. They started January 1st. But they're really amazing. And I'm going to try to link the hashtag. I'm going to put the hashtag down below. Anyway, so on to the letter G. G is for goose the goose right here and the greek stitch and i have to say i enjoy doing the greek stitch um it was really fun it the it's right here in the grass and here in the goose um the larger part of its body are greek stitches um i do have to say that the brown color i used is a little um a little poopy looking you know what I mean? And I'm looking at this letter G and I'm wondering if I forgot something. I'm going to have to go back and check that. So maybe it's not fully finished. I might have to <laughs> put a couple of stitches in there. But I'm looking at this G from this angle thinking that looks really odd. Anyway, so this is my G block. So I'm doing these blocks every two weeks um, on the 1st and the 15th of the month. So this is October 1st. And there you go. And then I pulled out another one of my oldest whips. Um, a couple of videos ago, I talked about my two oldest whips that are from the 90s. And, and um, they're something I started when I was younger. Great eyes, 
started them on linen and I'm looking at my stitches that I made on this back then and they are amazing compared to my stitches now on linen. But anyway, back then I had a big magnifying lamp too. But anyway, so um, this is Silent Night. It is a Leisure Arts brochure by Carol Emmer. And I had lost my chart and I went on eBay and I was able to get it for like under $5. So no, I actually got it on Etsy, but it is on eBay. So this is it right here. And I am working on the baby Jesus and Mary. And um, this was another um, reminder of why I don't like doing people and faces. I'm not good at it. And so this is what I got done. I got most of baby Jesus' face done. And most of Mary's. Except now she has hollow eyes. Because I haven't gotten to her eyes yet. Oops. Can't see. Hold on. Let me fold that so I can see. So this is what I've gotten done. And this is on, I believe, a 32 count linen. Um, these are my stitches from way back when. And they're absolutely spot on. <laughs> These are a little messy, but anyway, baby Jesus was giving me a hard time. I realized that 30 years ago, I had made a counting error on his head. And so I had to go rip it out and rip out those beautiful stitches <laughs> and restitch him. And um, his face looks a little bad. I started outlining it to backstitching it just so I could get, because you know, you look at this without backstitching and you think, oh my, that's just horrendous. But um, like Joseph needs some backstitching and he will look so much better. But that is the Holy Family. And um, yeah, I just have two, three shepherds, four shepherds in the background. This is, this is the extent of it. It goes about maybe this much further. So it's not a big piece, but anyway, that is it. So it's been fun pulling out my older whips um and just getting them done as uh <clears throat> we've moved around a ton over the past 30 years and so these this, these are in boxes that i just kept moving my husband's like you sure you want to keep all this yes because I, I need to go through it i'm not ready to go through it and so finally we settled back here in our home state of louisiana and um i said okay let's go through those boxes and i found these <laughs> Found some other things that I had to like boxes of floss it was just it's crazy what I've been toting around for 30 years but I'm glad I did I'm glad I didn't get rid of them anyway flea market flowers this is by Lori Holt through Fat Quarter Shop and it is now available as a digital download I am using all the called for DMCs on a I believe it's a 16 count Ada I just had it in my stash measured it it worked out to the right size and so that's what i'm using um i have not gotten to this yet but when i do this i will be doing it in purples in fact um shelly also did hers in purples um but of course we're both from louisiana so we do, we're going to use purples <laughs> um so that is what i that's what i'm working on but i worked on the per the see i'm not talking about purples I worked on the yellows and oranges. Um, it was kind of a gold and orange color. But here it is right here. So I did all these little orange bits. Um, the only thing I was not able to do is put some orange centers. I was not able to get to those. But these are the orange flowers. It's finally coming together. So um, <clears throat> let me see. This one, this one, and this one are brown flowers. So those will become purple flowers. And then I have the odd and end leaves and stuff that I wasn't able to do. The way that I am doing it is I am picking a color and I will find everything in that colorway, like the yellows, the pinks, the blues, and I'll stitch everything in that colorway. So the reason I didn't do these, <clears throat> like these, greens right here is because I didn't feel like counting. I wanted to make sure my flowers fit before I made sure my stems fit. So um, I'm going to pick it up again. My goal is to finish this in October. I want to have this done because there is a piece that I want to start in November. And so um, 
I want to have it done. And uh, I'm starting another piece and I forgot to bring it, but I'll link it below. Um, I'll be starting another piece next week, probably, or maybe this week. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> so I'm participating in the Christmas Garden Stitch Along with Friends <laughs> by that the Contented Stitcher is doing. And this is it right here, Christmas Garden. It's by Blackbird Designs. It is in the Home for the Holidays book. I don't, I still don't know what I'm going to do in the bottom. I'm really leaning toward not putting our name, but um, it's going to have all our initials. So to me, it kind of needs our name. So I don't know. We'll see. I didn't get a whole lot done, <clears throat> even though it was Blackbird Weekend, because um, we just, we were busy. We did some stuff this week. And we had the kids over Saturday night, so that kind of, they brought some friends over. So, of course, I had to make the house a little bit cleaner than normal. Anyway, so this is what I've done. I just finished this, worked on some more little, I call them berries, but I think they're supposed to be flowers. But to me, they're berries. Um, but that's pretty much all I did. Not a whole lot. And then, of course, the border goes all the way down, but y'all seen that. So that's what I've done. I'm glad they don't put deadlines on their stitch alongs because I, <laughs> I wouldn't finish them in time. Oh, please. Drinking my tea. I drink iced tea in the morning instead of coffee. Okay. And this is my custom piece by Stitch and Mommy. Um, I posted a picture of it last week. It is a pew that my grandparents purchased in the local Catholic church and she charted it into a cross stitch chart for me. I do want to work on this on a weekly basis. <clears throat> so I picked it up yesterday. It is on a 25 count chocolate that I got from 123 Stitch by which Wilchel, Wit, Wilchel, Wilchel. I say it all the time normally, but today I can't. Anyway, that's what I've gotten done. I got one electrical tower I got part of Thibodeau written in 1938. Well, part of nine, the eight's missing still. I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> finish the eight today and then put it away. And then, so this is one page. Um, well, and this kind of scooches over into the next one. But that tower was something else to stitch. <laughs> but she did a fabulous job in catching all the the shading and everything. I just love it. I sent a picture to my aunt and she just, she loved it. So that makes, that's nice. But the electrical currents, these are backstitched and I just did one long backstitch. I don't know what that's called. I don't know if that's right, but that's just the way I did it. Um, on the pew, it's a dark brown, darker than the, the wood, but I didn't, I didn't do that. I was like, I don't know if I'll be able to see it or not. So anyway, um, I did buy a chart, but I did not bring it with me. Um, it's printed and everything. I just don't know where it is. Um, it is by Whilst Iris Knapps, and it is her um, piece that she did for um, breast cancer research. You make a donation and you get a link to the chart. Um, it's a small chart. Um originally in fact she's got a floss too i'm going to link to the floss too so you can um you can see that but it um it was originally done in some bright colors <laughs> but she had a friend that stitched it in blue and so she went ahead and she stitched it in um, pinks two pinks um i ordered now i ordered this and this is by will wit which out which out which out anyway it's stiff it's a I know I like crunchy fabrics. I'm always saying I like crunchy, fa crunchy fabrics. And I ho I'm i hoping it's big enough. I need a measure. But it's a 28 count pink. Touch of pink. So I'm going to do it on on this. But. And. I really can't see it a whole lot. See it's pink. Um, my mom's favorite color was blue. 
And so I ordered a variegated blue by DMC from that quarter shop. And I am waiting for that to come in. Um, it's supposed to come in yesterday, but, um, as you can see, I'm looking outside. My neighbor's yardmen like to park in front of my house and block my mailbox. So my mailman does not deliver my mail. So, anyway. <laughs> he didn't park in front of my mailbox this time. <laughs> I had to tell him something. Anyway, this is what I'm going to hopefully do it on. Like I said, I need to make sure it's the right size. But I think the blue and the pink is going to be really, really pretty. So, if you don't know. My mom did pass away in 2018, um, seven years, six years before that, she had a diagnosis of breast cancer. And by the time <coughs> they found, <coughs> found it, it had already spread. Um, she had been having yearly mammograms. So I'm going to get on a little, I'm going to, I'm going to give you my speech. She had been having yearly mammograms since she turned 50. Um, she had a cyst and so they were monitoring it. And a couple of years went by that she did not have her mammogram. I would say probably two or three years went by that she did not have one because um, she was dealing with um, issues with her knees. She had broken her leg and she had a, a rod in her leg and they had to remove it to do a knee rip. It was just this huge ordeal. And um, in preparing her for um, surgery to have her knee replacement done, they did an MRI to um to see if the knee replacement was the only joint that she needed replaced she said i don't want to have a knee replacement surgery just for you to tell me two months later that i need to have my hips replaced you know um my mom had osteoarthritis um she had osteoporosis she had all kinds of stuff anyway um so she went a couple years without having a mammogram and when they did the mri they found tumors on her hip bone so it had spread already in just a few years of not having a mammogram. So um, this is my speech. If you're my age or older, have a yearly mammogram. Um, my doctor demands a yearly mammogram for me because of that. Uh, my insurance at first was like, oh, she doesn't need one yearly. It's like, um. so anyway, my mom passed away in 2018, thanks to breast cancer. So, um, you know, Get your girl smushed. It's not fun, but it's necessary. So I'm doing this for my mom. I do a lot in memory of my mom. I miss my mom. If it wasn't for my mom, half of my crafts would not exist because my mom loved doing all this kind of stuff as much as I did. So she was my enabler. <laughs> and now I inherited her stash. <laughs> so anyway. Anyway, so that's the pink I got. I got that because I knew I wanted to do it. And then while I was doing it, I went ahead and ordered me some 32 count limestone i thought this was just such a pretty color um there is a piece that i want to do um a small um sampler in one of my magazines i want to do on this and then i got a piece of 32 count copper kettle belfast linen so the next thing i do is i have my cart filled with 28 counts so that i can finish my um ABC blocks. I need some, I need a variety of counts for that. But that is this. It's pretty. That was pretty. And uh, apparently, <laughs> I didn't realize that I had two charts in my cart. <clears throat> yes. So all my big spiel about not buying charts, y'all, I don't know what I was doing, but apparently I had already had these in my cart when I pressed buy. But I do like them and I do plan on stitching them. And um, I do have the fabric and the flosses for them. The first one is this. I've been seeing it around and I fell in love with it. Um, maybe I'll Michelle McGraw did something very, very similar to it. And so, um, or she was doing something similar or she wanted, she had a chart for something similar. I just fell in love with it. So I think think I'm going to do it on, I saw on Pinterest where somebody did it on the sparkly fabric. So I think I'm going to do it on sparkly fabric, but I think I'm going to do it in what I call Star of David blue. It'll be the blue that um, is in the Israeli flag. And um, oh my goodness, my husband just sent me a text. Look who got nominated. 
Is it time for teacher year already? Anyway, sorry. Anyhow, and then the person that did it, they did the um, the manger scene right here in a different blue. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the city of Bethlehem all in what I refer to as Star of David blue. And then I think I might do the Holy Family in uh, maybe a darker blue or something to just kind of make it stand out. There is one called um, Three Kings and one called Shepherds. And I'm trying to figure out how I could do them to where they would um, be side by side. But they only end up, if I stitch it on 14 count, it ends up being three by 20. Three by 20. So that's not too bad, but uh, I need to get some sparkly fabric. If anybody knows, I don't know if I want to do it in 18 count because it only ends up being two and a half. Just like, like that. Not very big. Not big at all. So I think I'm going to stick with um, either 14 or 28 count. But anyway, it's about that. And then, surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's red. <laughs> so this is beautiful. I love I love the letters. I love the big vase. I love everything about this. So I am going to stitch this. And this is going to end up being, hold on. If I do it on 18 or 36, it'll be 8 by 11 and a half. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit bigger. But um, it uses DMC 498, which I'm sure I have plenty of. So look for these coming soon. But my new start will be, this week, will be the um, Whilst Iris Naps, if it fits on this. And um, I'm going to, well, as soon as my mailbox is not blocked so that my mailman can deliver my floss to me. Anyway, I was kind of all over the place. I accidentally made my Walmart order for pickup today. Tuesday's my my study day, I teach a class at night at church, I do my filming, I did my uploading, and Tuesday's a busy, busy day, and it's usually a day either my husband takes me out to eat or I throw a keto pizza in the oven, and um, we go to class, and I teach, <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, so anyway, so hopefully I can rest enough and um, get this done so that I can go pick up my groceries from Walmart. Anyway, and that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> so this week I do plan on starting the Wild Star Snaps piece. I do plan on working on um, City of Romance. I usually try to put a, a day or two in each project. City of Romance, I like to give it three days. I like giving it a lot of time. And then, um, I might pick up, um, I've already, I might pick up either my other oldest whip or try to finish flea market for hours, get those done. And of course I'm going to work on, um, the Tipito piece. That's my, that's definitely my, um, I want to get that finished. My husband already has a spot he wants to hang it up in. So, um, anyway, so that's all I have. And um, I hope to see you guys next week. Lord willing, creek don't rise. We have been doing good with our flooding. Although my husband, my son is in Tennessee and they are, they are getting rain and he drives for a living and he has been sending me videos of just the water everywhere. So anyway, but um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week and y'all have a great day. Thank you. Bye.